Hi guys, welcome back. Right, these marauders. I don't even know which way I was heading, to be honest. Still climbing, it's a good sign. Why did these marauders go? I need to take them by surprise. Yeah, we're going in the right direction. Sneak through the un. Oh, we've been spotted by something. It's a bear. Where are you going, bear? Got him. You leveled up. Stamina, mana, or health. We're gonna go with um, health. I'm using old iron arrows. Do I have anything better than that? No wonder they're not doing any damage. Did I run out of my good ones? Oh, sharp steel. Steel arrows. Okay, at least they're a bit better. Save. Okay. I need to buy a load more of those where I think there were nine, did nine damage. Hey, moose. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Hello? You just gonna stand there? Whoa, here we go. There's three of them. I see three dots. We'll harvest holly. We'll do that. Okay, come on through. I don't know how they detected me. <clears throat> Take it easy, Meldrew. Here we go. I don't see them. Oh, here we go. Stop moving around. Jeez. Get out of my way, moose. It's a stag. These are not doing much damage at all. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Run the other way.
I mean, these shouldn't be that difficult to take out. At least I didn't come chasing after me. That stag again. How annoying. There we go again. Dramatic music. Here's the bear. Alrighty. There's a traveller here. Got some coins and uh, shoes or tiggy shoes. Medium backpack. And a pickaxe. Okay. Let's save it right there too. Uh, they're just over here somewhere. Right, they can't see me. Stand still. <laughs> Dealing them no damage whatsoever here. Oh, come on, show yourselves. Look at their lifeline, it's huge. Maybe we can just go past them, just bypass them. Well, we'll save it. We'll save it and uh, ignore them, I think. What's that ahead? Are they horses or people? That's no, another stag. This one's on the move, though. Oh, I don't want to go down there. Where did the path go? How did you do that? How did you do that? But I can't do that. That was weird. There's no way I can cross there. Why does the path run out here?
Why? Tell me why. This is beginning to annoy me. Why does it run out? here. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Alright, so we'll go over here, see what we can do what he did. Good God. How is that how is that possible? How is that possible? Well, that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's like it's a bridge, but there's no bridge. Ha! Huh. Absolutely amazing. Oh, what's that? Blueprint for a silver greatsword. That's nice. And a chest. Oh, health potions too. Well, that's worth a lot. Spare parts. Well, that was worth it. But are we still heading in the right direction? Hang on. Wolf. These arrows do no damage whatsoever. None. Only those that I bought from that guy in the market do any damage. These are no good. I'll take them back, but they're no good. So, are we still heading in the right direction, I wonder? I'm miles away from him. He's here. Maybe it just leads all the way around. There's another tower there. And there's another tower there, the farmer's coast. Which is all well and good, but I'm not equipped. I'm not equipped good. We're heading into um, trouble, I think. Look at this. These ruins. A little bit scary. This doesn't look like a pleasant place to be. Been detected by something. What is it? Is it a mammoth? Surely it's not going to hurt me. No. No, they're not going to attack. You might. Oh no, they're coming for me now as well. You're kidding me. Old Four Tusk. I 
That's just ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Damage is absolute crap. I'm not blaming my game playing here. Those arrows are crap. It's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. There's no point in going on. Absolutely none. It is crazy. I've got to go back. I'm sorry, but... Good job I bought that scroll. I'm going back to Ark. I need to get some decent arrows. This is just stupid. You know, it's pointless playing. can't kill some young snow wolf because I have crap arrows. I'm really getting salty about this. I mean this long into the game you, I should be stronger. It should be easier to kill things. Especially it's, you know little wolves. Come on. It's triggered me big time. Why is it always goddamn dark, for Christ's sake? Why is it always dark? Huh, Meldrew? Why is it always dark? God. Shut up, you spa. You see, there's no inns, there's nowhere to sleep. It's just ridiculous. You have to search for a bed to rest. Well, find me a bed. Here he is. Yes, Ba. I've never known a game like it where you can't, where there isn't an inn and you can't sleep somewhere. That's just stupid. I feel like stealing everything now just because I'm triggered. You know, every city has a tavern. Where's your tavern? Where is your tavern? Yeah, idiot. <sighs> frustration. Total frustration. So you got a local map, okay? Do you see an inn anywhere? No, you don't. No, oh, see the bank, nobles quarter. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's beginning to annoy me big time. It really is. I mean, I don't mind the fact that, yeah, you have to find a bed to rest, okay? 
and now it's crashed. Okay guys, after that crash, um, I've kind of calmed down a little bit. Um, we're in the Noble Quarter. Um, I went back to that silly little island and upgraded a little bit. Still can't find a bed. And unless I get these um, decent arrows, it's just pointless going anywhere. Pointless. Now I did break into somebody's house and uh, stole a few things to sell. And I saw a notice on a wall uh, which gave me a quest. This. I read a poster in Ark, Let's Live. After a long time in solitude, I, Annabella, search for a nature boy who isn't averse to a quick adventure. Meet me on the island in front of the Ark. There you will find a camp. Read the message and show your gratitude to me. So, I did get that one. Even though we're still trying to find Silas. Huh? Can I help you? So, I've already got to wait until it gets light. So I can go back to the marketplace, uh, can I help buy you? some arrows, then we can head out again. So I'm just going to have a bit of a wander around here for 10 minutes. Or a stone hand. How's business, Aura? Oh, how nice of you to ask. I can't complain. I suppose the wars in Kilei and Kira make it harder to get your hands on certain wares. But still, life's good. Definitely more comfortable than my time on the road, though. You got anything to sell? Your time on the road, were you homeless? What? No. I was a vagabond, as people like to say. A traveling mage. Figures. How did you become a vagabond, though? You know... I grew up in a village near Duneville. Actually, I had a pretty good childhood there. But when I discovered my magical gifts, well, let's just put it this way. It changed how people treated me, even my own parents. I just felt the need to, I don't know, get out, see some of this world. So after I did the passage to the water, that is, after the order taught me how to use my magic path, I decided not to return to my village and packed my traps and hit the road. Kind of bold, yes. But back then, I didn't care. But I digress. Um, what do you mean by people treated you differently back in your village? Explain yourself, Aura. Well, they weren't exactly hostile to me. But it was the small things. Looks, talk going on behind my back. Over time, that just gets to you. But you know, I don't think I can blame them, especially with the village folk. The word magic is always mentioned together with wild magic, or base and devastated cities. And all of a sudden, here I am, suddenly one of them who can do those things, even though I don't have Eterna blood. How is that supposed to fit into their worldview? They can't really know better. Hmm, still sounds tough though. Knowledge. You did the passage to the water. How was that? Ugh, hard. The Arcanist made it clear that we stood at the crossroads. Either we learn to control the magic, or we become outlaws. It was not a pleasant time, I can tell you that much. The Keepers were extremely strict, and you learned to be independent. To not get too close to anybody. But no offense, that's a very personal topic. I understand. What happened to those people who didn't make it through the passage? I'm interested to know. As I said, I don't want to talk about it. Sorry. Yeah, but I'm asking you. Tell me. Hmm. What, and you weren't afraid of bandits, for example? Well, that's one of the upsides of being an arcanist. You don't need to be a bulk of muscle to defend yourself against a pack of wolves. Plus, back in those days, the roads were safer by far. All these brigands, the frenzied Vatirs, the lost ones, that's new, for whatever reason. Still sounds tough though, Aura. 
Ah, uh, I'd probably made it sound worse than it was. I've heard that on Nerum, magically gifted people get driven out of their village, or worse. I guess I should consider myself lucky. How's business? Oh, how nice of you to ask. I can't complain. Oh. I suppose the wars in Kile and Kira make it harder to get your hands on certain wares. Are you going to sell me anything or not? Good. Definitely more comfortable than my time on the road, though. No, she's not. Walk blessed. So, that was a waste of five minutes. On rocks I stood amidst the sea. Misha Misha Gala Gala Bagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagabagab
Okay, let's go back downstairs. Nice place, though. I'm so glad I found it. So glad. I'm really happy. Okay, um, we're going to end this episode here. And combine it with the crashed section. And when we come back, I think we'll try a bit of gambling. Could be a big mistake, but you don't know. So thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.